I'm Ray Luna. Welcome to my channel. For the reading today, we are looking into what is your next big surprise or surprises if multiple things want to come through. For group number one, we have Carnelian and the Queen of Pentacles. For group number two, we have Green Agate and the World. For group number three, we have Clear Quartz and the King of Swords. So when you are ready and have decided on a stone and a card, head to the description and click on the correlating timestamp to receive your reading. And thank you to everyone who has brought my subscriber number up to a thousand. I really appreciate you all. I'm really happy to see the channel continue to grow. It's really awesome. So thanks. Hello, group number one. So you chose Carnelian. And with your cards here with the Queen of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, the Nine of Swords, and the King of Pentacles. So what I'm seeing here for your next big surprise is I feel that something that could be stressing you out or you want resolved is kind of finally coming to a conclusion. It's finally being completed. And I see that with the Eight of Cups and the Nine of Swords here. Walking away from worries, worries ending, things finally resolving or being finished so you can move on to something else. So that is happening in relation to a situation in your life. I also see here with the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, there is two cards here that make a pairing. So this also makes me think of a situation resolving, being completed, um, information, meeting a solution. So something's finally going to have the information so that you can move forward with it. Um, maybe you re receive information from somebody else that allows you to move forward. But you are going to have two parts of something come together and lead to completion, something being finalized. I also feel for some of you guys too, another surprise could be with the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. For some of you, this could be a love pairing. It doesn't matter if you're represented by the Queen or the King, but there are two people here I can sense coming together to form a union, but it feels like a love relationship. So for some of you guys, this could be a strengthening of a current relationship, a relationship that's finally maturing or reaching a higher level. But for some of you guys, this could be a new relationship that could lead to a lot of success and wealth. And even maybe this person who's coming in love to you, maybe they also could help you complete and finalize things in your life that you've been struggling with. So I'm going to put down some more cards and see what other surprises are in store for you. Okay, with these cards here, we have heart, love, rainbow, hope, lovers, journey, and community. So what I see here with heart, love, and lovers, there's definitely some surprise here for you guys with love and love relationships. So I feel like you guys are going to receive a lot of love, a lot of support and positive feelings from whoever you're in a relationship with or there's someone coming in who is going to offer this to you. And with this heart love card, the balloon, I can imagine someone giving you this heart balloon, like giving you this love and support and trying to give you hope, trying to make you happy. And I also see the rainbow as a message of like something positive and happy after a storm, after the rain. So maybe some of you guys have had difficult relationships or relationships that haven't worked out. So the surprise is a relationship that's coming in that's going to be very heart healing. So, you know, your heart chakra it's usually represented by the color green and it can be closed off 
when we experience lots of negative emotions or we don't want to give positive emotions out, right? So for some of you guys, with this heart card, it can talk about the surprise of having this relationship come in or the relationship you're currently in giving you this chance to open up your heart chakra, making it safe for you to express yourself, show love, and experience positive emotions in relation to love. So that is something here that's opening up for you guys and it's really nice because it feels healing and overall it is just positive feeling. Rainbow also is a sign of happiness, like feeling accepted or after a struggle, you finally see that sign, which is the rainbow that, hey, things are going to be okay. So I feel like you guys are having this sign from the universe that, hey, your relationship's going to be okay. And this relationship that's coming in, if you're single, it's going to be okay and it's going to be something different. For others of you too, interestingly, because there's rainbow, the lovers and heart, I feel like if you guys are someone who is LGBT, you're in that community because we have the community card as well. You could find a community of like-minded people or people who are the same as you or people, if they're different, they're accepting of you and they're giving you love and support if you are coming from a place where people aren't accepting of you um, because of your orientation. If people weren't accepting you, I can see you guys finally finding people like friends or a lover, someone who's going to accept you and give you the love and support you need. So that's really awesome as well. Obviously, that message isn't for everyone, but that message is coming through with the rainbow. Um, also, with journey and community, I feel like another surprise here, um, I mentioned this just a second ago a little bit, like finding a community that loves and supports you. That's for everyone. So for some of you guys, you could be surprised by going on a trip, a journey, maybe for some of you guys, the surprise isn't you even knowing the trip's going to happen, someone's surprising you with it. Or maybe you win a trip, something, some type of trip that you're not expecting. Or if you plan, if you're planning a trip, this community that you find on it will be unexpected. But I feel one of the surprises here is that when you travel or go someplace else, you could find a community of people who are very similar to you or make you feel supported. Like maybe you go to another country and then you're like, wow, like I wish I was from here instead or I wish um, I wish I was a part of this culture or the way people do things here. It just matches you and makes you feel really connected. So a message here as well is that no matter what you're doing, you're going to have more connectedness with other people. And that especially comes with that heart chakra opening. So I'm going to put down three last cards for what surprises you're going to see. With your cards here, we have chair filled, someone new is entering your life, um, gong, an exciting event, bird flying, news is on the way, tiger, doing something risky, taking a chance. So quickly, I just want to say here, before I elaborate on these cards, is that with the previous heart card, the lovers and journey, some of you could be traveling. Like if you're not already in a relationship, when, you t when you're taking a trip or traveling, you could have the love of a lifetime or be fated to meet someone on your travels, on your journey. And this could eventually turn into maybe a long distance relationship, but you guys eventually come together over time. But I do feel like for some of you guys, you could be meeting someone when you're traveling who you're meant to be with, like a great love, like one of the best loves of your life. That's what I'm picking up here for those of you who are single and traveling. Okay, and with chair filled, this is talking about, yeah, that new romance coming in, that new person coming in, um, an exciting event. Maybe you meet this person on your travels doing something exciting. Maybe you're going to a concert someplace. Maybe there's some type of festival. But there's something here that you're going to be doing that's bringing you a lot of joy and happiness when you bump into this person, when you meet this person. And for others of you, if you're already in a relationship, I could see this even being a pregnancy announcement 
with a gong and chair filled someone who's coming in like a baby coming in new um and with bird flying that could also talk about that announcement with bird flying i also see that new information is coming in for you to help you make that choice or that new information could be coming in that finally allows you to move away from something we saw that at the beginning of the of the reading something's being resolved maybe something's resolving and allowing you to plan this trip um but something's definitely resolving making less stress for you i can't pick up 100 percent what it is but there's something that's giving you stress or difficulty that will be resolving it's a positive news on the way and with tiger here doing something risky taking a chance I feel a surprise coming in for you guys is being a little bit more courageous and tiger-like. Um, so something I think about with tigers is that they're very courageous and independent. So maybe some of you guys, you're single and you're afraid to go on this trip alone. Um, you don't have someone to go with, but maybe this is a sign that you should take that risk and by going alone or it doesn't mean you can't go with anyone like friends but if you're single and you're worried about going on a trip without a romantic partner this is saying if you go alone there's a strong chance you're going to meet someone and then you're going to realize that was a good risk to take and worrying that you're going to be with someone or not with someone that was silly because you're going to find someone anyway that's what i'm picking up for you guys group number one i hope you guys like this reading let me know what you thought about it in the comments if you do like it consider liking the video and subscribing if you haven't yet and i hope to see you guys in another reading bye hello group number two with your cards here we have the world the three of cups the ace of swords and the six of cups so what i see here for your next big surprise is i feel that you guys are going to have something good to celebrate some goal you're completing or achieving something that you wanted to manifest is completing and coming into your life but there's something here that you're really happy about you're celebrating you're going out with friends to celebrate this achievement so it's kind of like let's say someone gets married and then they have a bachelor party or bachelorette party there's something here like you're celebrating an achievement or an accomplishment that you have done another big surprise that's coming in for you with the ace of swords the six of cups i feel like you're gonna have some thoughts come in or creative ideas come in that allow you to work on something from your past but make it relevant again so maybe there's an old business idea that you had and you only kind of sketched it out you didn't really do anything with it with the ace of swords here it's kind of taking this old idea this old project and giving it a new a new life once again there's something you're bringing back from the past but you're making it new and fit your life now so for some of you guys this could be revisiting a thought process you have old beliefs you had um for some of you guys, let's say with diet, let's say maybe you were a vegan before, or maybe you mostly ate meat before, you didn't eat many vegetables, There's some, it doesn't matter what that diet is, there's something you're going back to and revisiting from your past, but it's not a bad thing from the past that's coming back, it's something from the past that you're tinkering with again and making it fit your life now. So maybe at the time being on a vegan diet or if you were the opposite you didn't eat a lot of vegetables it wasn't working out for you so you had to change that right um now you might be in a better place to try that goal or challenge again that lifestyle that you wanted to do then but it didn't work at the time i also see here as i said with that business plan it could be there's many things this could be um you could go back and have a new idea and new thoughts to add to that that actually make that plan or that project viable so for some of you guys this is a plan 
or a project in others of you. It's something with your lifestyle, your habits that you're bringing into your life once again. So I'm going to put down my next set of cards and see what else you guys can expect for a surprise. Okay, with these cards here, we have water, surrender, tree, ancestry, thoughts, sudden wealth, and concern. So another message that's coming through as well with celebration and the world and water, water kind of makes me think of the womb or like a, like a baby, not to sound weird, but that's what I'm picking up here. So maybe some of you guys, you're finally getting pregnant or the person you're with getting pregnant. There's something here like growth of family here. Um, adding to your family, the world, the water card, ancestry, that's something else I'm picking up. That could also be a surprise that's happening. I also see here too, maybe your family is going to help you in some way. Maybe your family could help you with sudden wealth. Maybe they could give you a loan or they could give you money with that idea I'm seeing with the Ace of Swords. Um, and you also have thoughts here. So yeah, you're definitely going to be surprised by your thoughts, your ideas, your plans. I feel like whatever you're thinking of, whatever projects you have, they have a potential to bring you lots of sudden wealth here. Like you have an idea that it's like, wow, I hit the jackpot because I thought of this. But yeah, there's something you're thinking about, like your business ability, your intellect, the surprise could be that's improving or whatever you're thinking of. It's just something like other people haven't thought of it. Or you're inventing something maybe. Maybe some of you guys are inventors with the Ace of Swords and thoughts. Um, for some of you guys, that could be bringing a childhood dream to fruition with the Six of Cups as well. Those past cards are really playing into these ones with the messages. Um, with sudden wealth and concern, maybe a surprise is that you could win a little bit of money. Because we see on here it's 777. And it kind of looks like an old-fashioned slot machine. So maybe you guys, from something you did in the past, it's giving you a little bit of money. A surprise amount of pocket change. Um, enough money to put aside to invest. You're having some type of increase, but with financial increases, a surprise here with concern is that maybe you're meeting up with someone to learn how to manage these finances learning how to plan them. Maybe you're thinking a lot about ways to make money. And that's why this, this breakthrough is coming through because your work's going to be rewarded. This time and effort, even if you're not taking physical action, you're taking action in the way that you're planning and strategizing. But it still brings a concern because if you have an increase in money from your past work and then the work you're currently doing and what you're going to release in the future, wealth from that, this could be a concern for you and you're going to have to figure out ways on how you can invest that in yourself and your family. What can you do to have a legacy there? I'm going to put down a couple more cards and see what other surprises want to come through. Okay, with these cards here, we have dog far away. A distant friend is thinking of you. Dolphin, financial gain, usually coming from something you did in the past. And we have that six of cups. Um, torch, spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding, and work, achievement, and success. So these are really awesome cards here. Um, yeah, there's something you guys did in the past that could be bringing this sun in unexpected wealth. Um, for some of you guys, that could be a small amount or a large amount. That's different for different people. But I feel like what you guys are doing now, whatever ideas, thoughts, or plans you're having in your head, make sure you write them down. Because not only could you receive something from the past, financially, I feel like currently and in the future, whatever you're thinking of that you haven't took action yet on, this could have the potential to bring you lots of wealth. So make sure you're writing things down. And don't think, oh, what I'm thinking of is stupid or silly. No, write it down. Because whatever you're thinking... It's like you have thoughts of gold. There's something good. Or I'm thinking here too, like for some reason I keep thinking of people inventing things. Um, 
So if you know the show Shark Tank, people will show their inventions or products to a bunch of rich investors and they get to decide if they want to invest in that that product, that idea, and help promote it further. So I keep thinking of that, or I think of uh, Nikola Tesla, the inventor, he did a lot with electricity. Um, something about that is important, <laughs> like people who are inventing doing things. Like if you have an invention or you're thinking about creating something with business, please write it down because it's going to be very important, like making a blueprint for something. Oh, I also want to say here, with Dog Far Away and the previous cards of water and family tree, this makes me think of if you have family overseas, maybe this person could help you in some way. Or if you have a family member overseas, maybe this is calling you to reach out to them because they could give you some support with Torch. They could light the way for you, give you some insights. Maybe your conversation with them is providing you with good thoughts that lead to this invention or this idea. Maybe they're part of your business or your idea. But for some of you guys, this is a message of, I know the reading's about surprises, but this could also be a sign like to reach out to your family members, especially if they live overseas or a friend that's far away from you because it could be beneficial to you. And lastly here, um, with Dolphin and the Ant, whatever hard work you're doing, it's definitely going to pay off. Please be encouraged, you guys, and continue to work hard because you're going to be surprised with how your work's rewarded with work and achievement. So that was your reading group number two. I hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. If you did like it, consider liking the video and subscribing if you haven't yet. And I hope you guys tune in to the next reading. Bye. Hello, group number three. With their cards here, we have the King of Swords, the Ten of Wands, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Empress. So what I'm seeing here for your next big surprise with the King of Swords and Ten of Wands, I am seeing you being able to allocate work to other people or outside sources. So you're going to have less hard work to do and you're going to have more time and energy to do other things. Maybe something that you're more passionate about with the Eight of Pentacles being able to work diligently on something you're passionate about, being able to invest in other ideas other than what you're currently doing, but you're going to have the time, energy, and resources to do that soon. And what we see here with the Empress, the Empress is someone who's very accomplished. She has all the time, money, energy she needs. She feels good about the way she looks. She feels good about her achievements, her work, her career. She feels good overall about everything, but I feel like with you guys, you're going to have something similar to this where you're having your empress moment or emperor moment where you're having a little bit more ability to put work towards other people. So like an empress or an emperor, you're able to delegate tasks to other people so you can indulge in yourself a bit and what you want. Like what's going to fulfill you or looking for new hobbies, focusing on your current ones, or maybe you just want to read um, a book you have or you want to cook something, like whatever is going to make you happy. You're having time, these less, uh, these less favorable tasks, these less fun tasks, you're going to have more time to put them aside and do more of what you want that you actually want to put your energy and time into. I also see... Um, with the Eight of Pentacles and the Empress, this is like hard work being rewarded so you're able to do this, having a little bit more money, maybe being recognized by someone else and being promoted with the Eight of Pentacles and the Empress. But you're going to be seen a little bit in a higher light or way because of the work you have done and have been doing. So I'm going to put down my next set of cards to see what other surprises you can expect. Okay, with these cards here, we have Butterfly, Metamorphosis, Power Lines, Energy, Marriage, Expectation, and Main Male. So what I'm seeing with the first two cards is that you're going to have some changes in your life that give you more energy. So like I was just saying, 
um, with the King of Swords and the Ten of Wands, that's what I'm picking up a lot. Like, something's changing in your life that's going to give you more energy so that you can focus on growing yourself, like reaching your highest potential. So I feel that you guys aren't, like, even if you're older, you're younger, it doesn't matter your age, there's something here that you have to grow and make prosper a little bit more. But maybe the way your life is, you haven't had time, resources, or energy to invest in that. So your surprise is having a little bit more moments of rest or more moments where you're going to have energy and the ability with those tasks being delegated to other people or having less of those tasks in the first place. You're going to have moments where you're going to have more energy to focus on what's going to grow you and nurture you, what's going to change you into this beautiful monarch butterfly. And for some of you, I know monarch butterflies migrate during the colder weather down to the south. So in America, they'll be here, but then they'll go down to South America. Um, so for some of you guys with this migration, maybe you kind of had a moment where you had to migrate or hibernate and not do something for a while. But now the time's coming where you're going to have the energy and ability to take charge on whatever that is. And for others of you with marriage and expectation, it's weird because there's a marriage card here. And usually when I see this, I'll read it as, you know, some of you guys are getting married. That could be true for some of you here, like a surprise you're getting married. But for others of you, I feel like this is like uh, you're defying what is expected of you. So maybe one of the surprises here, you might have a marriage or relationship soon that's non-traditional or it's unconventional in some way, but it's working for you and the person you're with. That could be currently right now, <laughs> but there's something you're defying expectations wise when it comes to relationships. Um, which is an interesting message here because I'm asking about your surprises, but that that's a little bit something else that's coming through. I'm also seeing here with main mail is that this could be some of you guys watching, but for others of you, I feel like I feel like in most cases this is gonna be somebody else, another party, but you're defying this person's expectations. But because you defy their expectations, it's leading to them giving you a proposal like a marriage, but this isn't romantic. This is in a professional or personal sense. This person's giving you a proposal for something. Um, but I feel like this is a proposal for you, like an opportunity to have that chance to grow into a butterfly, to have a chance to work on something else that you haven't yet. So I'm going to put down my last cards and see what else comes through for surprises. Okay, with these cards here, we have coins. Money will be coming to you. Egg. Success assured with good plans and hard work. Nest. An emotionally secure, loving family is important to you. And pin. New job slash career. So, you have both the nest and the egg. So, I feel like you guys, a surprise is coming through is that you're going to be nurtured and have protection. Um, this is especially true if you are someone who wants to be married and have kids. I feel like this is a sign that maybe you have the expectation, like you're worried, your expectations for that, like being married or having kids, if you want that. Maybe you're worried that it's too much or, you know, there's something here that's not being met with your needs. But this is saying that you're going to have the nest and the egg. You're going to be protected in that situation, so don't worry about it, which is the surprise coming through for some of you. But for others of you, I can see this as a message that you're going to be protected in your work. You're going to be protected in your relationships, and you should just go with the flow and not worry or focus on, is this going to be exactly like... X, Y, and Z or A, B, C, like don't compare things or have such strong expectations of things. Live in the moment and allow 
yourself to experience things as they're happening. Don't worry so much. And I also want to say another surprise coming in for you guys. Maybe this is the the person who you're going to exceed their expectations, that main male. Maybe this person you're impressing a job interviewer or a person who offers you a job here because we have lots of money coming in with coins. And then with nest and egg, that makes me think of like people putting money in a bank, like, you know, their nest egg. Um, and then with pin, this is like a new job, um, having a new start with something. Maybe this is something like with that needle or the pin that makes me think of creating and making something. So this could be the start of making a lot more money, a, a lot of something that's going to provide for you. And maybe that's why you have you have money to allocate tasks to other people so you can focus more on what you want to grow personally. So that's what I'm picking up here for your surprises. Um, I hope you guys liked the reading. Let me know what you thought about it in the comments. If you did like it, consider liking the video and subscribing if you haven't yet. And I hope you guys tune in to the next reading. Bye.